Well, let's see what you got then. Hmm, that's not a bad hand. But unfortunately for you, nothing beats a blackjack. Ah ha 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 ha! It's time to walk the plank. What's going on, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed, bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And that's right, today we got ourselves another landlubber. Picked up from one of our local shops here, Blackjack Metal Detectors in Renton, Washington. I'll put up a link down below, of course, to their website. Uh, where you can contact them and they'll sell you pay dirt and any other kind of mining um, equipment you might need. They sell, they're mainly metal detectors, so they got a lot of metal detector stuff. Uh, they got high bankers and dredges and sluices, oh my, pans and picks and hammers and straight up gold if you want that too. But they got all sorts of stuff is my point. Lots of good mining gear. There's not a lot of good prospecting shops around anymore, so... Um, it's great that they're still there taking care of the community helping us out But I stopped by there about a week or two ago and I picked up a $40 bag of their pay dirt um, So this was 40 bucks no shipping obviously uh, we never that and that's why we never include shipping because sometimes I get stuff locally But for $40 we got this little bag of dirt here. I don't know how much is in there He does say that he puts gold in it uh, last time I bought some from him, I was pretty pleased with what I got. So we'll crack this open, see what we're working with, shake it all out, and then run it down the sluice. So don't go anywhere. We're going to get to it and check this out. All right. So we got our Blackjacks pay dirt from Blackjack Metal Detectors. Blackjacksmetaldetectors.com. Cool little uh, Yo Ho Ho Pirates We Go logo. And uh, so, I think it's about maybe two pounds of dirt, maybe a pound and a half. We'll throw it on the scale here, check it out real quick. Oh shit, scale says it's three pounds of dirt. So we got three pounds of pay dirt to go through. Now because it is so much dirt, we're gonna give it the full classifications, quarter, 10, 20, and 40. We're gonna not do the 100 because there's really no need. Um, but let's get to it. Now, taking a look at the packaging, we got a nice Mylar bag, strong, heat sealed up on top. There is no zipper. This is a one-time open and done and do it kind of bag. Nothing wrong with that because that's how we do our, our dirt anyways. But if you're somebody who likes to do a little bit at a time and then put it away and then come back to it, well, you might want to get yourself a Ziploc or something to put this in or somewhere else, a bucket or something that you can pour it in and, and get it from there. But as far as getting dirt into my hands, this will work just fine. So let's start off with the quarter inch classification. Let me get myself some fresh gloves to put on my hands. Ah, I just ripped them. Well, luckily it's not on the fingers, so. So, like I say, we're going to start off, oh, come on, man, with that quarter inch, and then go from there. Quick look-see at the, the dirt. Looks like your river sands and gravels. River sands and gravels. That is what we're working with 
far as dirt goes. Some pretty decent sized rocks in there, so we'll definitely want to classify out that quarter inch. Quarter inch unfortunately looks like it's going to be a lot more material than we normally like. But uh, let's get to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and zip fast forward for everybody here. Uh, and if you want to watch the whole classification, tune into the Shaken and Sluicin. We'll be right back. All right. We're back. We got it all classified and shaken out. And uh, here's what we wound up with. Let's start at the top and work our way down. Now, first off, we have an unfortunate amount of above quarter inch material. Uh, it'd be nice to see maybe half of this not here um, because there's obviously not going to be any big gold nuggets up here in the in the quarter inch. So this is really just a waste. This isn't fun to have because if you're going to pan it, you're going to pan this all off in the first couple shakes. Um, and again, there's less potential for gold in, in this big material. So if there was nuggets in here, that'd be awesome. But we know there's none in here. So it really just seems like a lot of wasted weight. Because down here, where our actual pay dirt is, our sub 20, sub, sub, uh, sub quarter inch basically, we got our 10 mesh, which we already did find a little picker in there. You know, and this is about as small as we're going to expect to find any gold in, the plus 10. Next up, we got our plus 20. We're going to find, a, I hope, a good amount of gold in here. And that just goes up to about the bottom riffle, or the bottom lip, rather, underneath the bottom riffle. The same with the plus 10. Plus 40, unfortunately, my pan's a little wet, so it's not going to even all out. But again, it goes up about to that bottom that bottom lip, that first riffle. And then the same for the plus 40. So once we get that big quarter-inch material out of the way, um, we're really not left with a whole lot of pay dirt. So, so like I say, there's an unfortunate amount of quarter-inch material. They're probably just not classifying that out of there as well as they could. Uh, that they got the half inch material out of there for the most part is good. There is a couple bigger pieces, but uh, again, like I say, there, there's a lot of weight that went into there. I did not buy based on the weight. I base, bought it based on, uh, hey, I want some pay dirt. And then he handed me the last bag of pay dirt that he had, which happened to be a $40 bag. So a three pound bag for $40, no minimum guarantee. We're going to see what we're going to get. So we're going to fire up the sluice here, get this dirt all wetted up, and then see what we got. But before we do that, I almost forgot, let's check to see what kind of magnetics are stored away here. Now, I'm not even going to bother with the plus quarter inch stuff, but down here at the plus 20, being as this is, I believe, Washington dirt, we should see some of our material having some magnetics in it. We're good there. Plus 10, uh, I kind of skipped it, went from the 10 to the 20, but there is even some nice big ma magnetic rocks there as well. Coming down here to the plus 40, I expect a lot more of this stuff to jump out at us. Oh, well, you know, not quite as much as I was expecting now. Unfortunately, I did get this, leave this pan a little bit wet. So maybe some of it's getting stuck. But down here in the minus 40, the powdery stuff, let's see what we got. Not a whole lot there either. So kind of light for magnetics, really. So this, I don't think, is going to prove to be too much of a challenge. So you really light on the magnetics. We'll get that out of there while we're sluicing. But all right, like I said, let's get it wetted up and get to sluicing. Don't go nowhere. We're going to go through the 10. Not a lot of material to deal with here. We're going to go through this down to the 20 minus 4 or plus 40 minus 40 and we're going to see what we got. All right.
There's your gold, baby. All right, everybody. Welcome back once again. We are ready to weigh out this gold we got in this pay dirt from Black Jack's Metal Detectors and Mining Equipment. See their website here, blackjacksmetaldetectors.com. This was the $40 bag of pay dirt. Now, let's see what kind of gold that wound up getting us. All right, hello. Of course, Miner Bob and the ants are hanging by just to see what's going down, make sure all operations are legitimate and uh, according to procedure. So, all right, let's see what we got. Ding 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 ding. All right. So what we wound up with is zero point six one three. I'm gonna let that settle for a moment while it does. I'd just like to also point out the uh, inclusion that we found in the bag is a nineteen oh two Indian head penny. I mean, look at this thing. The condition that it's in is actually really really nice. One cent from back in the olden days, 1902. That coin there was over a hundred years old and we found it today in our pay dirt. So that's a pretty awesome inclusion. Um, I don't know how much uh, actual value it has above the one cent uh, face value. Probably worth 50 cents or a dollar or something, but a very cool inclusion um, to have in the pay dirt. So we'll put that here on the side. Uh, looks like the scale hasn't moved, so we're gonna call it official. 0 0.613 grams of gold. All right, Miner Bob's got a smile on his face, as does his ass, and so does mine. So we're going to scoot over to the next scene here, and uh, I'll give you my final words and the official ROI. All right, you landlubbers, welcome back. So, let's talk about this stuff. The dirt, let's talk about that first. Now the dirt, like I say, there was a little bit more of the half inch material, above half inch material than I would have liked for a pay dirt bag. Um, just because we all know there's, a, unless you're dropping the cash to buy a nugget bag that you're gonna have something that big, there's never anything that big. So it's a lot of wasted weight, wasted space. Um, you know, I, I could have, I personally think I would have rather this have had been a two pound bag and just not have that extra pound of weight in there uh, of the, the quarter inch plus stuff. Um, because once you got rid of that, the, the lower mesh, there wasn't a whole lot of pay dirt there. We went through it really, really fast. Um, so I think if you're panning it out or, or sluicing it out like I do, um, it's just going to make it go really quick that way. So I, I would have liked to see a little bit more material in the lower meshes, not so much in the larger or just not so much in the larger. Um, but overall the dirt was pretty easy to go through. There wasn't a lot of heavy magnetics. I didn't even bother trying to pull out at the end. Um, we just panned it straight out right off the sluice. So, uh, I would say this is really good dirt for your beginner, um, intermediate, uh, just somebody looking to have a little bit of fun and get a little bit of gold back. Now, let's talk about that gold. The gold we got back was 0 0.613 grams of gold, which was pretty dang good. Keep in mind, this is a $40 bag of dirt. So 0 0.613 grams of gold, which comes out to, at least today, be around $36. I bought this a few weeks back, and I think gold was up a little bit. So... Uh, based on that, it was it's about $38 in value that we got back. The bag is a $40 bag. So, let's just go straight to it. The ROI you're looking for, boom. And there you go. 
we look, are looking at roughly about a 95, 94-95-ish percent ROI, um, which is, is pretty dang good. I can't complain, let me tell you. Uh, so depending on when you bought it, where you got it, yada yada, um, we're looking at a high 90s, mid to high 90s ROI, uh, which is really, really nice. I'll, I'll do that all day long. Um, like I say, the only thing I wish is there wasn't quite so much of the larger material in there, but, uh, with that kind of return, I can't complain. So in addition to the gold, do remember we got that Indian head penny. So you figure the value of that we'll say without even looking up, we'll give it a dollar's value. It may probably be worth more. Um, so boom, that puts us right there at a hundred percent plus ROI, which man, I, I, I ain't going to lie. That's pretty damn good. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for some dirt and you need some mining supplies, some prospecting gear, um, or you just want to, they sell coins there as well. They're attached to the local coin store. Uh, so if you want some bullion or coin and stuff, hit these guys up. They can probably get you taken care of one way or another. Um, but if you need some pay dirt and you want to get some mining supplies with it, go check it out. Black, blackjacksmetaldetectors.com. They're right here in Renton. They're my local shop. Um, and I'm going to make it a point to get down there to get more pay dirt and stuff. I, it's been about a year plus since I've been there, uh, especially with COVID and all that. Um, but... Definitely check him out. Uh, I think the guy there is named Chris. And uh, check him out, man. They're good dirt, good gear, good people. So you can't go wrong. Blackjacksmetaldetectors.com. Badass pet bag of pay dirt. I'm down. Hell yeah. Now, other than that, I just want to thank you all for tuning in today, hanging out with me out here in the shed and the claim starting to get cold out here, so I got to fire this heater back up if I'm going to hang out. But uh, I just want to thank you again and uh, tune in next time for more of Backyard Prospecting with Dig Daddy. And uh, we'll go through some more dirt. And I'll see you Monday night for BSing in the Shed. And uh, don't forget, we are still pushing to that 500 subscriber number. So if you have a friend who's into prospecting, point him my way. We'll check it out. We'll, we'll do some reviews of pay dirt. And once we hit 500 subscribers, I'm giving away some dirt. I'm giving away some super blue moon, a uh, big, big bag and four little bag samplers as well. So five people are going to get hooked up. Uh, and that that's that. That's what I got. So thanks for tuning in. This is Dig Daddy signing out. If I don't see you out on the rivers, I'll catch you in the backyard. Peace.